Hello everybody, welcome to Have Coffee with the Geeks 5-Minute Guides. I'm Neil Welch. Today we're talking about clearing your RAM and why it's important. Uh, every computer has RAM, you need it. Uh, you can't actually turn your computer on without RAM. So it's it's extremely crucial, and uh, this is a something that everyone will have to deal with at, at one point or another, is having so many programs open or tabs or or just so many background applications installed that you you really don't even know they're open all the time and they'll just bog your computer down um, on a lot of manufacturer computers people will call this bloatware uh, it's just stuff that manufacturers install on your computer that they think you're gonna want but you really never use so just for example, right here I have uh, Adobe After Effects open, and um, I'm doing a RAM preview, which saves this whole video frame for frame to my RAM, and then loads it off my RAM, because the RAM is actually the fastest storage device in my computer. Um, it's faster than solid state drives, but this is eating up a lot of my RAM. It has to save this whole video there, so how do we... What if what if we like had minimized this at some point and we don't even know that we have it open and it's just in the background and you maybe left your computer and came back the next day and it was really slow and you're not sure why. Well, this might be why. So hit control alt delete on your keyboard and don't be afraid. This is supposed to happen. Uh, if you're in Windows 7, you're going to see this screen or Windows Vista. You want to go to start task manager. Um, on other previous operating systems, I believe on XP, it just brings up the task manager. You don't have to deal with another window. There's some that you do, some that you don't. But uh, on, on new op operating systems, you do have to click that button. And then uh, we get the Windows Task Manager. Now, I'm going to blow this up for you. Now, there's an Applications tab, a Processes tab, Services, Performance, Networking, and Users. Now, on the Applications tab, it'll show what you are currently running on your user profile. But that doesn't tell you everything. That actually doesn't really tell you anything. That just tells you, okay, After Effects is open, and I could, I could end that task from here. But if we go to the Processes tab, this is where everything really is. Like, this shows you really what's going on right now. Um, so we can see at the top here we have After Effects, and I can sort this by clicking these different uh, drop-down sort boxes at the top. Uh, you can sort them in ascending and descending order and uh, we can see what's eating up the most of our processing or the most of our memory. Now we're talking about RAM here so we we can easily see here that After Effects is using a lot of RAM in comparison to other programs and if we already know we saved that project or we don't care about it we don't care about that project so we're just going to end that process yep we just want to end it and that was it it's gone and now we all have that ram back and we can see it here in the performance tab we can see how much ram our computer our all the programs in the processes tab are actually using right now currently all together so that's how much our processes are using you can see the jump down here this is when we had after effects running and then boop we shut it off so if we go back to the Processes tab, you'll see here that there's a lot of programs using small increments of RAM, but like money, it all combines together and it adds up. So, you know, if you go out and you buy all those sale games on, on Steam or whatever, <clears throat> eventually you're going to realize that you're running out of money. Uh, even though you're only spending a couple dollars a game, it adds up. Well, same thing happens with your RAM here. So you see, we got a, we got Logitech gaming framework hmm I think that has to do with my keyboard having a, an LCD so some of these are drivers we can't we can't get rid of everything but um, if we look closely sometimes you'll find something that you really know you don't need open like here's here's open office I'm not using it right now I'm not doing anything with that so let's end it we'll just end that process so it, essentially if you went through and you ended what you know you don't need then um, you'd be cleared up. And that's all for this one. Uh, if you liked this, like the video, please. Uh, every, every bit helps. Um, if you want to keep learning, subscribe to our uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website at havecoffeewithageek.com or hcwageek.com. Thank you for watching.